Many runners tell me that they have chronic knee pain. It usually hurt for the first mile or two and then goes away, or it doesn't hurt in the beginning, but halfway through it, it begins to hurt, or it doesn't hurt during the run, but when you get home, sit down, watch some TV, your knees begin to bother you. These symptoms are telling me that your connective tissue or fascia is not working optimally. Specifically, is the fascial connection from the feet to your glutes is not responsive and strong. So here is a little ritual you can do prior to your running to help you with joint pain. The reason that you are having all these pains is because your fascial system is not fully responsive and that's the majority of the reason is due to your foot. So we're going to take a tennis ball. There's many different sizes of uh, balls you can use. It depends on your body shape and body type. So I, for me, I like to start rolling with a just a regular tennis ball. Where do you want to concentrate on rolling, right? That's the important question. Where is your uh, fascia likely to get sticky and uh, form knots? It's actually along the inside of your body. And these are all the fascia lines. So here, I show you how to do it. First, you put this thing here. And then you want to just gradually do a circular motion rolling circle circle and if you look at my my foot right now right I'm not even putting tension but it's the, the fascial the fascia because it's connected my foot is already flexing as a result you can see my foot right so this is one area you want to roll align this area okay and you want to do this for both foot so it's around this area inside of your of your thigh okay so again put this here you want to put some pressure on it and roll okay all right also you want to get a bigger get a harder ball you want to roll inside of your side okay roll the inside Roll the inside. If you have been a follower of Chinese traditional medicine, you should know these areas contain a lot of nerves, meridian flows all through these points. Okay? You want to be rolling the inside. Okay? Rolling the inside. Okay, the second thing you want to do is roll the bottom of your foot. Okay, the plantar fascia, very important. If you feel there's any sore spot, you want to just keep on rolling on it. Because remember, the fascia is like a, it's like a web, right? If the fascia tension start to, to degenerate, you start to lose fascia tension, just by rolling, right, creating some uh, compression, it actually has a, it creates a little bit of tension in your fascial web, so it helps. So you, you can see when I roll this, my flexor tendons are visible. I mean, this took work, of course, to train hyper arc, but the more you train, the, the better it is, and you will, you will not have any more problem with a joint pain after running. So these are the two things. And then the third thing I want you to do is you want to get these two tennis ball, okay? Just try to put on in your arc, whatever, wherever your arc is. Some people's arc is a little different than others. I just want you to stand on, on top of them, right? Right, put some pressure on the, on the ball, okay? I just want 
want you to bend like this. Okay? You bend. No, you should not feel any pressure on your knee when you do this, okay? And if you're more glute dominant, you feel more glute, you should be able to use your glute. But for those people who are quad dominant, you probably won't feel it, but it's okay. Still do this. Make sure your toes, take a look at the toes. Make sure the toes are retracted towards the the foot, okay? They're not like straight, but they're retracted, okay? Some of this. I'm gonna do like 10 times warm up. Okay? So after you do this, we're gonna get to the marble exercise. So grab the marble with your foot along the second second joint area. Make sure your anterior tip of tendon is out. You're gonna do a figure eight, okay? Figure eight, slow, but smooth. Like what you're doing with Tai Chi. Slow and smooth. And if you're doing correctly, you should feel your glutes, especially the balancing leg and the ankle and the calf start to give you signals which is a very good sign okay keep on doing this remember you want to do spiraling motion and as smooth as possible okay so after you're doing for one foot you want to do the other foot try to start with five marbles and five reps each, okay? So figure eight, smooth. Smooth and stable. Smooth and stable. I mean, this is much better than the hip thrust because you're using, you're working your fascia much more. And remember, your fascia, your glutes is 75% fascia or more. So, this is a much better activation. And that's it.